This budget worksheet showing projections for 2014 is pretty busy for a live presentation. But if you do want to present this information in a more compact form, what you might do manually ahead of time would be to hide the columns for the various months and just show the quarterly totals. On the other hand, if a question comes up about what happens in this month or what are you predicting for this month or that month, bringing back the data involves getting into using Excel commands and features, and you might want to consider making this as smooth as possible. Excel's outlining capability recognizes the structure of data in a worksheet like this. In other words, it recognizes there are formulas in columns E, for example, that tabulate data from the left, and in the other columns, columns I and M and so on. And also, vertically, as we scroll down the screen here, we see a lot of other numbers as well. Too much for a live presentation, probably. So, rather than hiding the columns manually, if we use Excel's outlining feature, we can quickly show this information in a compact way and then, when necessary, expand the display easily without using various Excel commands. All we need to do is click on one of the cells in this list and then use the Data tab in the ribbon and choose the arrow for Group and then choose Auto Outline. And what we see depicted on the screen now are quite a few different symbols above the data containing minuses, also down the left-hand side. And we also see a string of numbers, four horizontal numbers here, vertical ones here. I'm going to click the number two right here in the vertical list of numbers. Watch this display collapse so that we only see the quarterly and the grand total. If I click one, we're only seeing the grand total. Click two. We're back to here. Scrolling up and down, we still have a lot of detail. There are various interim totals within the list. That's why we have more numbers over on the left-hand side. Let's click three, the three right here, and watch this display collapse somewhat, but not completely. We still have a lot of detail below this. If we click the two, that collapses. So it's a question as to how much data you want to show. At any given point, you can hide those symbols. Let's say we're not ready to do that just yet. So if you are making a presentation with these numbers, you might begin by showing the display this way and then possibly expanding it. Suppose you are showing, for example, the expenses that we're not seeing. You could expand just that portion of the display by clicking the plus next to total expenses. So we see the detail there. If later we wanted to hide that, we could click the minus. And similarly, if we were showing the data and we wanted to show the detail for a given quarter, say the third quarter, click the plus, and we see those totals. If we want more detail horizontally, we might click the plus over here. And so in varying ways, you can expand and collapse this without needing to use a lot of different Excel commands. If you realize at some point that one of the displays is likely to be used frequently and you simply want to hide those outlining symbols, press Control-8 and we see the display this way. Now, while it's in this form, we cannot expand and collapse it, but we can see the data perhaps better, maybe zoom in and see it that way and display the information like this. Press Control-8 to bring back those symbols when needed. If you're no longer in a situation where you want to be using the feature, we can simply turn it off by clicking within the data and then going back to the Data tab and choosing the Ungroup option and then clearing the outline. And you might want to experiment with this feature. What Excel has done here is it's recognized formulas, for example, in column I that tabulate data from the left. It's recognized formulas in row 7 that tabulate data from above. And I said tabulate because it isn't always a sum, often it would be, but sometimes it could be an average, and it picks up on interim totals as well. It might look at first like this is a rigged example, but it isn't. 
And you might want to experiment with this with smaller worksheets and get a sense of how this works with other data as well. It's a great tool for making presentations that allows you to quickly expand and collapse the data without using extensive Excel commands.